Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Stocks. I am Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And a bill was introduced to stop the horrible stock trading among Congress, which is clearly a problem. I think literally everyone universally agrees at that point. Um, but a new bill is in. We're going to take a look at it because this is not okay. <laughs> Two stupid guys, three stocks. Nancy Pelosi. More? Huh? Yeah. My, my, my girlfriend, actually. It's Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, it's uh, Nancy Pelosi is probably shaking her boots at this because this is going to directly affect her. But this is a great stat. These 97 members of Congress reported trades in companies influenced by their committees. Hmm. This is not a political issue. Look at those colors, man. They're pretty not a political issue. Red and blue. Yeah, this is like um, you know a, a long time ago they voted on if they should raise their salary, and like almost all of them were like, yeah, we probably should, because they're the yeah. ones that vote on it. Like that's not fucking corrupt at all. Okay. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's a gross chart. Here are these two people. Now, full disclosure, there's been many bills that have attempted to do this. We're gonna look at them. But essentially, these two senators introduced bipartisan ban on stock ownership for executive uh, and legislative branch office holders and their families, which is hmm. the part that always never works. But it's Republican Senator Josh Howley and Senator Kristen Gillibrand. Gillibrand, I think, something like that. Don't don't know her. Um, yeah. Here is what they're actually trying to do. They are introducing a bar bipartisan legislation that would prevent members of the executive and legislative branches, as well as their spouses and children. Now, I'm going to skip down here. <coughs> I'm provided. <coughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> the legislation will also ban blind trusts, require increased filing transparency, significantly increased penalties for violations, including fines of at least 10% of the value of the prohibited investments. That's a lot. That, that, that's sexy because you've seen how many of these people as if violated the actual campaign – or not campaign, their uh, stock reporting you know, requirements so far, right? Because they, they just yep. file it whatever they want. They don't really care. It's a $200 and, fine. Yeah. It's absolutely and nothing. To they're doing millions. Have, yeah. yeah, millions of dollars in stocks. Yeah, it's fine. It is wild. Um, here is the entire thing. I'm not going to go through this. It's pretty much – what I just said, but if anyone wants to pause this and read it, here's the the whole um, the measure. Um, but one thing I want to read is imposes heavy penalties for executive brain stock trading, automatic special cancel fine of not less than the value of the covered investment that was purchased or sold in violation of the ban or up to $10,000, whichever is more. So they're, more. Yeah. they're trying to, you know, actually get to the bottom of this. Yeah, These are some everything. fun stats. So, one in seven members of the 117th Congress who violate the Stock Act uh, by failing to properly report their stock trades. That is what Vinny just said, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they don't care. They obviously don't care. That fine is 200 bucks. okay? Um, what, what's some other good ones? One in five senior federal officials who held stock in companies that were lobbying their own agencies from 2016 to 2021. Mm. Beautiful. Only, yeah. oh, I, you know, only we could allow something like this for so long and then still not address it. That's insane. Well, <laughs> I'm going to show you why they're not addressing it. But uh, th this one's really good too. 240 senior federal officials at health agencies and the Pentagon who own stock in the drug manufacturing and biotech companies that won federal contracts related to COVID-19. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry, this is the most important one under Congress. 17.5%. That is the average amount by which members of Congress stock portfolios outperformed the S&P 500 <laughs> in 2022. That's the best one. Sorry about that. That's amazing. Yeah, if, average, like, average. For people that aren't really into investing, you know, that right there is well beyond what Warren Buffett achieves. 10% yeah. per year on average beating the S&P 500 is what made him the richest investor in the history. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're doing seventeen point five above the average. Yeah, hmm, yeah. solid. So yeah, it's fantastic. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but this is not the first time bills have been introduced. Right, there, a lot of you know things will have bipartisan support, but unfortunately, it just gets introduced and then it gets put over here in this pile that says we're going to vote on it 
sometime. And then it just yeah. sits there for years while other stuff are happening, right? So here is one. This is called the Ethics Act. It's a little bit different. It's not completely the same thing. It's introduced in April. Now, here is some problems with it. So Bernie Sanders, who is a sponsor of it, literally said, he's the sponsor of it, to be honest with you, it's not an issue that's on my mind right now. That's the kind of support you want when you're trying to solve this. But he's got his beach house, okay? Yeah. And then, do a Bernie Sanders impersonation. That was perfect. <laughs> and then uh, more importantly, I just wanted to single out, so Josh Hawley at the bottom here, um, Republican from Missouri, I'll have to double check that. He yeah. said about this bill, who uh, was contacted by Merkley's office, da, 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 this looks like Obamacare where they write a law and every member of Congress is exempt from it. Hawley has previously introduced a similar measure himself, dubbed the Pelosi Act. <laughs> hmm. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Absolutely. And then here's uh, another quote here. Not, not from him, but Speaker Pelosi promised to make changes years ago, and it's been nothing but lip service. Right? Meanwhile, you have multiple members of Congress, Congress continuing to get inside information, and a lot of them are profiting massively. That's not news. We know that. No. We did a separate video about her outperformance, too. She is by far and away the most prolific investor, I think, of our generation. Forget Warren She's... Buffett or Michael Burry. It's Nancy Pelosi. It is Nancy Wait. Pelosi. Um, I you know this is very wordy. I'm not going to go through this, but essentially this is just the timing. There's tons of these on Reddit. There is so many of these on Reddit, but this is a great one. Um, you know, our husband exercised call options and paid 1.95 million to buy a bunch of shares. Um, on March 19th, the same day, shared one value. Oh, then like 11 days later, they got a contract or something. What was this? No, oh, yeah. they got a contract for $22 billion. Yeah, and Pentagon. It's always the amount of time that he buys something. It's like, hmm, two weeks later, something awesome happens to the company. It's like, okay. It's, right. it's magic. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it. It's not, it's not explainable. I, I, I just thought this meme was great. Did you see, have you seen this before? No. <laughs> no. So Dylan and I both work in medicine, so it's kind of funny. Like you know, but it, it, you know, Grandpa's not doing so well, so we're torn whether or not to put him on hospice or have him run for the Senate. Because we've seen the people that make up Congress and you know, executive branches of the United States government right now are all, uh, let's just say, uh, not very fresh. Uh, <laughs> you know? So it, mm -hmm. it's about time that there be some major changes, and I think this is one of them that is long, long, long overdue. Um, so that with that, I'm announcing my candidacy. Um, and you're going to see the two stupid guys run for Congress. Uh, it's not going to be a very big campaign. Just be right here on YouTube. Go find me link in the description below. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's we got like nine bucks. All right, guys. Uh, let us know what you think. But obviously, this needs to happen. This is horrible. Um, it's clearly corrupt. It's clearly insider trading. Martha Stewart went to prison for this. I'm like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's same thing. All right, I guys. Agree. Catch Have you next one. one.